The atmosphere is raucous. I think there are around 2,000 from Stoke inside this arena, Richie. Yeah, yeah, they really do travel well, don't they, the Stoke fans for Nathan Heaney. They've got such good support. And he started fairly positively on that front foot for them. And he seems to revel in all the atmosphere. Heaney is this overachiever at 34, very much living the dream. Great shot by Heaney, sharp right hand. Yeah, and as Brad Pauls is coming forward, Fletch, he's got to move the head most definitely, but he's just got to watch out for the right hand from Heaney. Heaney's quick off the mark here, and as Brad Paul moves in, yeah, gets into distance with it, close, tries to close the gap, then he whips a little right hand over the top, so he's got to keep, Pauls has got to keep his left hand, his lead hand a little bit higher. Oh, good work there from Heaney, good right hand, left up went in from him. Again, Brad Pauls is probably just struggling um, with the distance. Bit flat-footed, moving forward, and he's, he's, his attack's just feeling has fallen just a little bit short. See, at this stage, that's probably the only chance that Brad Pauls has got of landing a, a real good shot, is if Nathan Heaney misses the target. He almost did there, you see, with that jab. If he actually misses the target, and Brad Pauls then just times that counter with the right hand, and he's got a chance to catch Heaney overstretching a little bit. But at the moment, Heaney's been quite accurate with that lead hand of his. He's dis sorry, his, his timing is quite good. That's, that's better from Pauls. Yeah, right hand, long right hand, just caught the side of Heaney's jaw. That was always the jeopardy against Bentley, the, the possibility of Bentley finishing the fight with one punch. And he kept out of range and kept his concentration and boxed a very clever fight that night, Nathan Heaney. Moving towards the final minute of the fourth round. Competitive fight for the British middleweight title. It's a good pace about it, Richie. Yeah, it's a good contest, isn't it? This round again, I think Nathan Heaney, for large parts of it, has managed to keep it at distance behind that straight. See, that's a good shot, that's a better shot from Pauls. Well, Heaney has managed to keep his distance well here. Oh, that was a good left hook there from, from Heaney, started yeah. that off. Followed up with a decent right hand as well, he put his punches together well there. Round five. Brad Paul's looking to respond with that left hook, good right hand from Heaney, and another one. Right on the chin. One thing you would say about Heaney is, is sometimes when you see a fighter box with his mouth open, it indicates they're tired. Heaney does that, doesn't he? That's the way he does it. Yeah, that is the way he does it. And uh, for every contest you see Heaney like that. He's a thick kid, no doubt about it, Nathan Heaney. There's that lead handwork that Carl was talking about. From Nathan Heaney. Yeah, and what basically that does, obviously, you know, you're scoring points with that, you're keeping the opponent um, off balance. But also, if he keeps scoring with that shot, Nathan Heaney, it frustrates Brad Paul. And what Pauls will do then is come over that front foot, thinking he's behind, and that's when you walk onto bigger shots. So it's it, it's a it's good work um, with the lead hand from Heaney. But again, it's getting competitive. Brad Paul's having a bit of success himself. He's in his growing confidence. Halfway through the seventh. Right hand from Heaney. Another right hand from Heaney. Right down the pipe, that one. They were cheering that one in his corner. Both men in fantastic condition. Now the Nathan Heaney crowd in full voice here in Birmingham. Yeah, he's having to work for it, but, um, you know, with the better shots. There's blood around the face of Nathan Heaney now, probably coming from the nose, you'd suspect. Yeah. Good long right from Paul to Heaney against the ropes, that was a good shot, the gum shield's out, Heaney in trouble, really good salvo here from Paul. really accurate, strong hard punches, the British champion hanging on a little bit in there. Yeah, big shots from Paul's. that was an excellent, 
um, di display, attacking display from Paul's there. That was superb. Just wondering whether we're stopping there. And look, oh, look at Steve Woodbine. He's just taking as long as he possibly can to get that gum shield back into Nathan Heaney. But Brad Paul's there, just exploded with shots. That was great work from him. That's the best we've seen from the challenger tonight. And he was just unravelling a little bit there, Nathan Heaney. Now, how much is the head clear? Brad Pauls, we know, has power. Heaney looking to fight off the ropes. Minute to go in the eighth. Best spell of the fight for the challenger. Can he build on that? Nathan Heaney has to dig deep now. It's very difficult for Brad Pauls to win the fight when Heaney boxes like this. It's when he gets drawn in that it gives Pauls the chance. That was the message from Steve Woodbine. Just don't do it. There's no need. It's your fight when you box like this. So in these situations, what Brad Pauls has got to try and do is double up his attacks to stay and get him on the ropes. That's where he's got to try and keep him, and that's where he may have some success. Right on cue, that's what he's done. He's got to try and get Nathan Ealy to hold his feet on the ropes. Good shot from Heaney, long right hand. Nice and accurate, jolted the head of Brad Paul's back. Lovely shot that was, well timed. This is a gruelling contest. Both men having to empty the tank. Brad Paul's being told he needs a stoppage, and he's out there in the 11th round trying to get one. Heaney trying to keep the fight at range, trying to keep out the way. Another shot, another big shot lands. Nathan Heaney in trouble again. Brad Paul's looking to unload. Heaney's legs buckling. Heaney's holding on. Heaney's hurt in there. Oh, Heaney hasn't gone down from that shot, Fletch. I will never know. Just hung on for dear life there, but he, he'd gone. He literally had. Nathan Heaney clinging to his British title. Brad Paul's looking for the finish. Brad Paul's has him on the back foot in his own corner, looking to unload these big shots. There's more than a minute to go. Nathan Heaney running on empty. Is this the moment for Paul? The Heaney fans trying to raise their man. Incredible here. Brad Paul's really going for it. Nathan Heaney in a lot of trouble, still not recovered. Heaney responds with a combination of his own. The British champion having to dig deeper than he's ever dug before. They're biting down on the gum shield, Nathan Heaney. Heaney's turn to stagger Pauls. Yeah, great shot that was from Heaney. But Paul just keeps going forward, feels that he's just one punch away, but Heaney responds, that's good stuff from him. Final few seconds, Heaney's found extra reserves. Paul has looked shattered. Both men fighting each other to a standstill. That's a brilliant round of British middleweight championship boxing and a standing ovation around the arena for these two warriors. Two hard men in there, two proud fighting men. Nathan Heaney clinging to the British title. Brad Paul's trying to change his life. Paul's lands, so does Heaney. Both of them with brilliant hooks. Unbelievable. Good right hand and a left up went in from Paul's there. Heaney responds. Sometimes you think Heaney's just ready to, to go to the canvas, but he just manages to stay up again. But Brad Paul's is just looking for that one shot, trying to hunt down Heaney. Such resilience, such bravery, such determination. The fitness and the conditioning of these two men is why they can still do this in the 12th round of this gruelling fight. Heaney's turn to land. Pauls has to dig a little bit deeper. He's got to find a punch from somewhere. Heaney knows it. 30 seconds left now. Nathan Heaney fighting for the city of Stoke. Brad Paul's looking to take the British title to Cornwall. 20 seconds left, time running out for the challenger, still swinging, down goes Heaney. It's a slip and he's still got the spring, still got the energy to spectacularly get himself back up. He was literally saying to people there, it wasn't it, that it wasn't a knockdown and the way he sprung back up. Heaney on the move. The final bell imminent. There it is, what a fight. What a fight. Judge Victor Lachlan scores it 
116 to 113 in favor of Nathan Heaney. Judge John Latham scores it 115 to 114 in favor of Brad Pauls. And Judge Kevin Parker scores it 114 to 114. This bout is a split draw.